Hello Aries, welcome to your love story for singles for this week. Alright, if you're interested in a personal reading from me, check out my email address below. Um, send me an email, let me know the kind of reading you're into. Or you can um, also check out my blog, my reading choices, and let me know what kind of reading you'd like from there. Alright, let's check out your past love situation. Prophecy, divination, fate, destiny, future, fortune. Okay, so this is about, uh, in the past, it felt like destiny. It felt like Wheel of Fortune. It felt like it was meant to be. This person was meant to be. Gorgeous. You know, it, it was a strong pull uh, of destiny. Uh, um, and, you know, it was a case of it was supposed to be. It happened exactly as it, as it was. You were meant to be in each other's life to fulfill some kind of uh, higher purpose uh, for each other. There was a deeper meaning to your your meeting, your purpose together in your past. Okay, It felt like you were meant to be there and you probably helped each other through some kind of situation in the past. You know, you were there for each other. What about presently, Aries? What's going on presently? Reflections, what you contemplate, you actualize. So visualization could be using law of attraction. Um, but this is also uh, reflections, could be memories. Just remembering them very fondly, thinking about them. Um, and sort of just like it really feels like they're still there. Or you really feel them close to you, uh, um, like the way they were. You feel them. And I think it's like you're, you're thinking about them to the point where it feels like they're there sometimes. Um, and I feel that that's a very strong connection between you both. You've got that uh, Prophecy, Fate, Destiny card indicating that this was fate, uh, possibly a soulmate connection in the past. And you still feel each other very, very strongly, probably through your thought forms. Um, and actions to find love for my gorgeous Aries. Actions to find love. Oh my God, I won't be taking all them. Actions, actions. What should Aries do? Thank you, Spirit. Soul cage. Rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. Actions to find love. Release yourself, Aries. It's about releasing yourself from a cage you feel trapped in. Eight of Swords energy. It, it, you need to release yourself. You need to let go of something in order to move forward towards your love. There is a situation of whether you or your love feels trapped. Uh, and it's a, a matter of releasing that so you can uh, get on with your union. Or, you know, be with your love. Results, if those actions are taken, what will happen if you release or your love releases their cage? What will happen, spirit, if areas... Vulnerability, open your heart and allow yourself to be tender. So this is, uh, once this occurs, you know, it will po possibly leave a broken person who needs a lot of love and, and guidance and reassurance a lot of caring and nurturing to help them uh, work their way back up whether it's you Aries or your love it will be a matter of needing somebody to keep you strong uh, it'll be vulnerable and opening yourself or your love opening themselves towards you um, because this this situation will leave them feeling very very broken down or you okay um releasing that that cage that that is leaving them restricted or you restricted um it will once that is released it will leave you or your love feeling very vulnerable and needing one another to help each other stay strong What, a, what an amazing bond. This is gorgeous. Very, very... Um, it's just amazing. Is love around you now, Aries? 
It's a love around Aries now. Is love around you now, Aries? Is love around Aries now? Is love around Aries now? Is love around Aries now, Spirit? You can double tap to the right of your screen if you, you want to miss the shuffle, Aries. Is love around Aries now? Thank you. The crane bag. Again, we have about decluttering. Okay, your person is probably in the in that process of release okay feeling very broken right now aries whether it's you or your person okay is love around you now there is a, a situation of release and letting go um and and time out it could very well be that you are both having some t quiet time uh during this release phase letting go okay decluttering live uh, a sacred ocean medicine also needing needing healing, uh, watching the waves and, and watching the sun set and rise on the horizon of the beautiful ocean, you know, just for some of you out there. It helps you to heal. It, it just cleanses your soul uh, just to be at, in the ocean or in the environment of the ocean or bodies of water, lakes, streams. Um, and then we've got uh, awareness, contemplation, solitude, time out, indicating during this time, there is an alert time, there is quiet time. And then the call, summoning voice to acknowledge. So from that point, there will be a random phone call or text once this has happened and what will happen, yearning, longing, saying, I miss you so much. I, I need to see you. I, I really, I can't go on without you. I, I really, you know, I, I'm going through this process and I feel so alone and I miss you terribly. Is love around you now? They miss you so much. That's what they really want to say. And you feel the same probably. You know, during this declutter and timeout phase, you know, someone is going to call the other or message saying, I miss you too much. It's just overwhelming. And uh, what's delaying love? What is the delay spirit for Aries and their love? What is the delay spirit? Thank you. Um, seashell divination wisdom of shells so this is about asking for guidance asking for assistance asking for help so somebody is literally reaching out calling out saying i don't know what to do so they're seeking counsel you know whether it's through a counselor an accountant bank you know uh, a personal representative possibly a, a reader such as myself I don't know what to do. I don't know my next step. What do I do? Where do I go from here? What's delaying love? Not knowing the next step. Being at a forked road. All right. What is the outcome this week for Aries singles? What is the outcome this week for my single Aries out there? What is the outcome this week for my gorgeous single Aries? That one wanted to pop out, but I'll give another one. What is the outcome for my single areas? Thank you, Spirit. Honor the masculine. That's gorgeous. It's about honoring each other's each other as a divine masculine and divine feminine. Really understanding the energetic perspective, understanding your connection and how deep it goes. That it's a heartfelt connection from the soul. Okay, and lifetimes to lifetimes because it's fate. It's destined, meant to be. You have a higher purpose for being in each other's lives. This is something sacred between both of you. And it's about recognizing that at the end of this week or thereabouts. How beautiful. I love this. Alright Aries, let me know how this resonates. 
I send you love, peace and light always. Bye for now.